Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today I will explain what is the difference between centralization and decentralization system with uh, analytics explained with the comparison between uh, Google Analytics and Matomo. So this is what we call a centralization system. It means that you have, let's say, one uh, system which is getting all the data. So imagine that here you have uh, google.com and let's say all uh, Google's website in general actually is uh, using Google Analytics. So it means that all the data collected by all those websites are going to one single uh, vendor, which is here uh, Google through Google Analytics. Then you get as well uh, youtube.com, which is uh, using Google Analytics. So it means that all the data are going to the same provider and any other website using Google Analytics. For example, your personal website, if you are using Google Analytics, government website, administration website, and uh, let's say uh, the 60 to 80 percent of the market shares uh, which are uh, using an analytics solution, which are using Google Analytics, are then sending all the data to the same provider, okay, the one which is Google. And then uh, just to let you know as well that Google has some other uh, system like this, which are uh, centralized, such as, for example, uh, the Google Account Services, where it's not uh, data about the websites which are collected, but data about the user, right? So user one, user two, user three. And what's going to happen here is as you have the same provider everywhere, uh, they can discuss together, right? So uh, thanks to the footprints of Google Analytics, you can find out those same footprints uh, within Google Analytics and they can uh, somehow technically uh, be able to discuss together, which means that actually the one uh, who is identified here can actually be found out uh, over here. And that's the same thing as well for all the different system uh, that they have, which makes, of course, the system very scary. Uh, not that here, I'm not saying that Google has it. I'm just saying that Google technically can uh, can do it. Okay, and that's, um, that's the big thing here. Then uh, the next thing that I would like to show is, of course, this slide that probably most of you know, uh, which is coming from uh, what Snowden put in relevancy, which is the Prisma. Um, this is the, the Prisma, how to say, the press service of the uh, NSA, which clearly show that actually the NSA has some access to some different services, at least uh, some years ago. So that's just, in fact, you know, to say, okay, just not Google as the possibility to get those data, but as well third party provider such as uh, the NSA. And the last uh, slide that I wanted to show you before I'm moving forward in this example is a decentralized system. And I'm taking here the example of Matomo. So imagine that you have one company, so we're going to say website number one, who is using Matomo, then the data only going to the Matomo server. So probably the one of website number one. And like this, you have no possibility to discuss with another one, right? The only possibility will be if you have like kind of a cloud provider, which is providing an offer about Matomo and is providing it in a massive way and having like, I don't know, 80% of the market, then you will find back uh, this kind of system. But most of the time what companies are doing, they are installing Matomo on-premise, which means on their own server, which means that the different services cannot uh, discuss uh, with each other. And of course, that kind of system make it very difficult for uh, NSA or another party provider to get an access because all those different installations are all uh, different from one another. Okay, but uh, let's go a little bit further within our system. And I would just wanted to show you uh, this is Alexa, as probably most of you know what it is about. It's kind of a, a website uh, belonging to Amazon, which is listing all uh, the most uh, popular websites around the world according to different countries. And here, if you look at the, the top 500 websites, you will be kind of surprised to see that they are most using uh, Google Analytics. So here, for example, Google.com, YouTube, uh, Google.fr. So all those three websites are using Google Analytics, which means that every step that you are making actually you are uh, sending data to uh, Google. Uh, not the case of Facebook, neither Wikipedia, neither Amazon, because they are straight competitor. But I think that if you go for leboncoin.fr, uh, you will see that actually they are using uh, Google Analytics on their website. So let's, uh, let's check it. Uh, so we go, let's we're just gonna copy and paste this over here, right? 
Turbo Qua. And uh, if you look at the source code and note that as well, it's possible to install Google Analytics without showing it within the source code. So even on some websites that you suspect are not gonna use it, maybe they're gonna use it. Uh, and here, if you look at the different nomen which are called, I won't be surprised if we get the one of uh, Google Analytics. So I'm gonna say, hey, I understand and Okay, so probably here, oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here, probably what's gonna happen is that, yeah, you see, they have Google Tag Manager running, Google's uh, services, and if they are not executing Google Analytics within this, this snippet, I will be very surprised, which may be the case, actually, so, Okay, I cannot ensure that, for example, this given website is using Google Analytics, but at least it's using Google services. So it goes back a bit to the same point where in any case, the data are sent to, are sent to Google. Uh, and that's the case for many, many other websites. So I could take, for example, here the orange.fr, orange.fr, and you will see that, yes, as a, oops, like this, and like this, and same thing, network, and we're gonna see if we are lucky enough here to see, do, 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 domain. Okay, we just saw it. Okay, you see that? Google Analytics and so, most of the website that you are browsing on the internet are using actually Google Analytics. And just for you to kind of visualize, so I took the example of Matomo, of what's happening is that every step that you are having on a given website, so here, for example, I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add this given website, so where it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Yep, oh, and if I go over, uh, over, we say it was orange, so depths. Okay, so let's imagine that we are going to take a typical journey. So I'm going to go here. And um, so if we go, for example, in the top side of the main uh, website used in France, you will see that you have all those websites and that orange is on the eighth one. So let's imagine that a given a given user is going on google.com, right? It is looking for information about Orange portal, okay? And then it's gonna find out this portal and it's gonna go on this portal and it's gonna uh, interact with the different links and so on and so forth. It means that at uh, Google specifically, as this is a centralized platform, they have the possibility to know, as you can see, all the paths of a given user, right? Everything that he made on the internet, because most of the people are using Google Analytics, are going to be gathered within one uh, single entity, or at least technically that would be uh, possible, which makes that it's kind of a mass uh, inspection uh, software here that we have. And just to for you to realize that uh, Google has, of course, is Google Analytics services embedded in many other different devices, which can uh, include, of course, uh, smartphones, uh, mobile apps, uh, IoT, Google Home, and that kind of thing, which means that for a given individual, they have the possibility to know everything that you made uh, in your digital life, let's say. And as they have this given access to all uh, the database that I previously explained with Google account and stuff like this, they can cross their database and in fact enrich this given database. So I'm not using Google Analytics for the sake of this example. I'm using Matomo in order to show you how it will look like technically at Google if they were uh, collecting all uh, those data and crossing those data. And if uh, they would like, for example, to enrich their uh, Google Analytics database, they could easily uh, cross. For example, let's imagine that um, they have in Google, on your Google account, the information uh, regarding the IP address of the user and the footprints that is using. So let's say the different technology that is using and can personally identify this person. They can um, technically let's say enrich their database so i'm going to use an example let's uh let's say this given user right you see his ip address is um 
191, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and let's imagine that now Google would like to enrich this given database in order to know who is this person behind, because here, as you can see, uh, we don't have the information. All they need to do is just to add uh, the data. Okay, so here, for example, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you just one tiny example about how you can enrich the database. And uh, they will go, uh, of course, within their database. They will just perform an SQL uh, query. And they're going to say, okay, um, let's imagine that this given user is, in fact, John Do, right? So I'm just going to do something like this. John Do. Yeps. Oops. Oops. And okay, so this is just one tiny example, you know, so okay, how can we cross a database? So they had in one database the information that this given IP address equal to John Do. Uh, in reality, actually, they will use more than just the IP address. They will use the full footprint, which is okay. And they are using Firefox and you are using this given browser version in order to ensure that this user is really John Do and that the information they will change in Google Analytics or similar system is really the one of John Do. And as a result, if uh, they just look back to their data, they will see that the user is finally John Do. So uh, yeah, as you can see now, it's John Do. It has been inserted as uh, the user ID in my case, but it was just really in order to explain you what is the big thing uh, big behind, in fact, centralized system. That's the fact that you are sending all uh, your given data to one single provider and as this single provider has many database elsewhere, uh, they are able to cross those database and make, um, in fact, the, the visibility of uh, your digital life um, full and complete and can, of course, after uh, make uh, uh, yourself uh, analyzed on the on a large scale and it gets query when some third sort of party provider can access to those data as uh, Ed Snowden showed. I really hope uh, that actually this video has been, um, has been let's say, clear uh, enough. Uh, as an exercise, do not hesitate to try to give your own definition of decentralized and centralized system because that's uh, really important. And once more, do not hesitate to make your video and share them on the internet. Thanks for watching.